Where the heck is my dang headphones? Oh, there they are. Hello! Can you heal me? I am heal. I'm gonna play some Stanley. Should be a pretty swell time. You can hear? Alright. Alright. That's what you wanna see. Everything is good. Okay, everything appears to be good. Hopefully, you're enjoying the buckets. Look at all of the buckets. I'm, I'm quite fond of the Kermit one myself. That one is a, that one is a mood. <laughs> it was surprisingly hard to find bucket gifts, but uh, I did it. I got it. I made it work. Shaba daba do bow, boom boom bow. There you go. Okay. Just making sure that everything isn't broken. And we should be okay. Alrighty. Let's just slam a lam a damn damn boom. Here we are. So I was presented with this. Please adjust the slider until the dog and cat are friends. Alright. Hmm, I see. Alright. Dogs and cats living together. Mass hysteria. Classic conundrum. Classic conundrum. Fair enough. Fair enough. Please adjust the slider until the number five becomes the number nine. All right, you got it. Oh, that's a happy face. Documents. Uh, flag. Uh, some kind of, I don't know, thing. Let's see where it... Taco Bell! Uh, there we are. Please adjust the slider until you stop adjusting the slider. Oh, that makes sense. 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 Well, as we all know, I am the master of settings. I am the slidiest man to ever slide. Wait a second. I'm some kind of absolute fool! I'm a complete and utter fool! Yeah, boy! Yeah! We slide in again! Hang on, I just had a thought. Hang on. Hang on. Uh, hang on. Uh. Ha ha! Sliding! Ah. Ooh. All right. There we are. Woo! I slide and... I kind of hurt my toe. <laughs> I just did the slide. There we go. Yeah, because what's a Stanley Parable stream without it descending into pure and utter madness? Why not start from the very beginning? Why build up to the nonsense when I can just be crazy now? Also, I'm glad that you were able to see that much, mate. <laughs> oh. All right. Woo, okay. Woo. Woo. Uh, it was it was my big toe. It's okay. I when I was sliding, I accidentally stepped on my own foot. <laughs> I'm fine. I'm fine. Don't worry about it. Okay. All right. That's a proper amount of sliding. I think we I think we did all right. All right. I'm gonna put the slider here. Which of the two made-up words below is most appealing to you? Akabonkal or scrumtush? I gotta go with akibonkal. Uh, that, that, sounds, uh, that sounds more like a thing that I would actually say. A scrumtush sounds like something that would probably get me in trouble if I said it out loud again. So I, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna definitely roll with that. Please don't adjust the slider. Well, I mean, if you ask so nicely. Who am I to deny the request? Do you know what time it is right now? I do, actually. Yes. Is the time that it is right now the correct time? Well, my friend, that seems almost a little existential for my tastes. And I'm not quite really, you know, in the mood to get all up in there. So I'm going to go ahead and say, yeah, you know what? I'm going to say that the time I'm told that it is is correct. Then again, Daylight Savings literally did just happen. And it 
should be an hour ago instead of an hour now. So, you know what? No. The correct time of now is not the time that is correct. Mm hmm. What is it? What is time anyway? Yes. Yes, daylight savings totally happen, Nightstar. <laughs> is there anything about yourself you haven't told me? Oh, plenty of things. Help. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'll help. Will you come back to visit me? I don't know. This might be the last Stanley Parable stream we ever do. I don't know how it's going to go. But, uh, sure. I can open up the game to check on you. <laughs> the intro is still different. <laughs> I thought that was going to reset itself at some point. All right, then. Well, that works for me. The end is never 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 the end. I broke my toenail. That's why it hurts so bad. Ow. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Damn straight. Let's go. All right. What kind of nonsense are we going to get ourselves up to today? All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Well, considering all of the balloons that'd be all about of Get Well Someday, I can only assume that somebody was perhaps maybe, I don't know, not in the best of states, and everyone went to visit them at a hospital. One path I suggest is going to the mind control facility. Just follow the narrator's instructions until the end. But I already did that one. Unless you want me to do it while holding a bucket, or saying no to turning off the machine. I could do one of those. If anybody has some hardline, uh, you know, suggestions or requests, now's the time to do it. Otherwise, I'm just going to grab a bucket and go for it. <laughs> is there anything non-bucket related that we want to do? Or is everything bucket related? Hmm. 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 Motorcycle. I have a question. What happened at the part two episode? I only watched the second one. You watched part two, but you only saw the second one. Yeah, you can turn on the mind control machine. Uh, yeah, say no to turning off the... What? Then go watch the second part. It's that easy. Okay. Follow his instructions until he says go and... Okay, fine. You guys want me to just go and turn off the mind... You want me to go to the mind control machine and, and then say no. Okay, I'll do that. When Stanley came to a set of no. two open doors, he entered the door on his left. No. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Uh, Peachy, I already did the escape the facility ending. I did that already. I don't want to do it a second time. Did you jump off the ledge many times and break your legs in defiance? Uh, I thought that the chat once wanted me to jump off the thing and die, and then I did, and I died, and then they were like, oh, um, no, actually, we didn't want that. So, you know, that was Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. I am headed over, y'all. Let's go. This is the terrifying reality of no buckets. Woo! Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. This man's decor Shocked, is subpar. Unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this. What dark secret was being held from him? The what he could not have known was that the keypad oh, behind that, the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. The terrible truth. And so tooth. the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. Whoa. Two, eight, four, five. Okie dokie. But of course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. I am a magical man! Yet incredibly, by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad, Stanley happened to input the correct code by sheer luck. Amazing. Hell he yeah, stepped brother. into the newly opened passageway. Let's go! Give me that mind control, y'all. Let's freaking go! Or not mind control. Whatever! Woo! Dialogue changes if you put that in before he tells you. Uh, Descending well, I'm gonna have to do that the again, building, right? So Stanley two, eight, four, five is peculiar. the number. I'll do that next time. It was time a stirring of emotion method. in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why did he nice do this now? 
when for years it had never occurred to him. This question would not go unanswered for long. Whoa! That seems like a safety hazard. Alrighty. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Alright, escape. We won't have this happen this time. But soon. But soon. I have to go and not turn off the machine. Behold, the big idea button. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. At least seven. What horrible secret did this place hold, Stanley thought to himself. Educational television. To find out. But not like the good ones, you know, the bad ones. The bad educational televisions. I kind of hate how the chat is a little late for you to see it. Yeah, well, it's as low latency as it's ever going to be. Actually, in this ending, you turn on the machine. No, because I'm given the option of turning it on or not on. <sighs> keep up, keep up, keep up. Alrighty, let's see here. And boop. Now the monitors jumped to life, their true nature revealed. Mama Each Mia. bore the number of an employee in the building, Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen. Why are so many and people Stanley, work in this one of them, building? Eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. Whoa. Uh, uh, hey, Sorry, I got all topsy turvy. Do, 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 do. Turning it off gives you the freedom and needed. Yeah, you just turn it. Whatever. The point is, I'll do the opposite of what I did last time. Bleh. This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the He's only reason he right was now. happy with his boring I mean. job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? Nightstar accepted it blindly. No. He refused to believe it. Or he that. couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never! I am it the Sandman! Wasn't it? Was it even possible? Possible! Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? Don't knock it till you try it, man. But here was the proof. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy, or sad, or content. Walking, eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. Or would for it? For he would dismantle the controls once and for all. Mm -hmm. I bet, I bet, I bet, I bet. I do it because it bothers Nightstar a lot. <laughs> All right. All right, let's go and do the thing, y'all. All right. And when at last he found the source of the room's power, he knew it was his duty, his obligation, to put an end to this horrible place and to everything it stood for. Okay, so, just to make sure that I'm not a complete and total idiot, this time. Okay, the ending that I did turned off the machine, and therefore set Stanley free. What we want to do is turn on the machine and return to a life of just being mindlessly told what to do. This time turn it on. Alright, let's go! Boom! Oh, Stanley. You didn't just activate the controls, did you? Hell yeah. After they kept you enslaved all these years, you go and you try to take control of the machine for yourself. Is that what you wanted? Control? Yeah. I did. Oh, Stanley, I applaud your effort, I really do. Thanks. But you need to understand, there's only so much that machine can do. Oh? You were supposed to let it go, turn the controls off, and leave. Yeah, I know. If you want to throw my story off track, you're going to have to do much better than that. 
I'm afraid you don't have nearly the power you think you do. For example, oh, what a bet. I believe you'll find this pertinent. Stanley suddenly realized he had just initiated the network's emergency detonation system. Dang. In the event that this machine is activated without proper DNA identification, Dang. nuclear detonators are set to explode, eliminating the entire complex. Bummer. How long until detonation then? Hmm, let's say, um, two minutes. Ah, now this is making things a little more fun, isn't it, Stan? I see, I it's see. It's your time to shine. You are the star. It's your story now. Shape it to your heart's desires. Oh, oh this is much better than what I had in mind. What a shame we have so little time left to enjoy it. Oh, boy. Mere moments until the bomb goes off. But what precious moments each one of them is. I don't know more exactly where I'm running to, to but here I go. You, about me, where we're going. What all this means, I barely know where to start. What's that? You'd like to know where your co-workers are? Why am I up here? A moment of solace before you're obliterated. All right, I'm in a good mood. You're gonna die anyway. I am. I'll tell you exactly what happened to them. I erased them. Oh no. I turned off the machine, I set you free. Of course, that was merely in this instance of the story. Sometimes when I tell it, I simply let you sit there in your office forever, oh pushing my. buttons endlessly and then dying alone. Yeah, I do that a lot. Other times, I let the office sink into the ground, swallowing everyone inside, or Dang. I let it burn to a crisp. I have to say this, though. This version of events has been rather amusing. Oh, boy. Watching you try to make sense of everything and take back the control wrested away from you, it's quite rich. I almost hate to see it go. But I'm sure whatever I come up with on the next go-around will be even better. My huh. goodness, only 34 seconds left. But I'm enjoying this so much. You know what? To hell with it. I'm going to put some extra time on the clock. Why not? Okay, that's nice. But also, uh, we have skipping going on? Hang on, hang on. Before before we continue on with whatever nonsense that this is entailing, are you guys okay? I'm just going to wait a little bit to see. It's fine for you? Okay, okay. Fine on your end? Oh boy, okay, all right. Well, okay. I mean, if you guys are sure, I think it stopped happening. Okay. Uh, just for me, it seems fine now, but okay. Well, uh, let's hope that it stays that way. I'm not getting any uh, messages telling me anything's going wrong. Also, the sequel is now paused, but hey, it is. I didn't even notice that. <laughs> uh, okay. All right. If you guys are sure. Uh, just a quick question. Is there something specific I'm supposed to do? If there is, please feel free to yell at me as I run These around scrambling. These are precious additional seconds, Stanley. Time doesn't grow on trees. Oh, Lord! Oh, dear me, what's the matter, Stanley? Is it that you have no idea where you're going or what you're supposed to be doing right good, now? Oh, good call, Maya! did you just assume when you saw that timer that something in this room was capable of turning it off? I mean, look at you. Running you're from right. button to button, screen to screen, clicking on every little thing in this room. I am! These numbered buttons. No, these colored ones. Or maybe this big red button. Or this door. Everything, anything, something here will save me. Why would you think that, Stanley? That this video game can be beaten? One sold? Do you have any idea what your purpose in this place is? Hitting five? <laughs> Stanley, you're in for quite a disappointment. But here's a spoiler for you. That timer isn't a catalyst to keep the action moving along. It's is just it? seconds ticking away to your death. Well, then I'll die doing what I love! Because I want to watch you for every moment that you're powerless. To see you made humble. Well, you're gonna see me hit this five! This is not a challenge. It's a tragedy. You wanted to control this world, that's fine. But I'm going to destroy it first, so you can't. Eh. Typical Take Sunday. Take a look at the clock, Stanley. Okay. That's 30 seconds you have left to struggle. Oh, I ain't 30 struggling. 30 seconds until a big boom and then nothing. No ending here. Just you being blown to pieces. Will you cling desperately to your frail life? Or will you let it go peacefully? I'm feeling pretty Another good. choice. Make it count. I will. But don't. It's all the same to me. All a part of the joke. And believe me, I will be laughing at every second of your inevitable life from the moment we fade in until the moment I say happily ever up. I went out doing what I needed to do. I ain't got any regrets. 
No. The Stanlin has begun All again. All his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Alrighty. So that was fun. Man, the narrator really got malicious on that one. Let's see. So now what should I do? Stanley went around touching every little thing in the office, but it didn't Ooh, make a, a single box. difference. Nor did it advance the story in any way. If only you had been able to press 5 one more time, you might have been able to save it. Yeah, probably. Another possible ending you could do is jumping out of the office building in the first room. Yeah, somebody said something about that. No it matter how hard you. Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. When you go down the elevator, turn around and press the up button. Hmm. Hmm. Should I bring the bucket? Or should I not bring the bucket? Are we still just gonna are we still trying to get everything that there is to get before we start doing the bucketing? I think that just might be what we do. Hang on, let me turn off all these tandies over here. No bucket first. Okay, alright, alright. Then I will not take I will not take the bucket. The bucket will be for later. Okay. So then, what specifically is it that you guys want me to do? And why did a motorcycle just drive by my room so loud? Go to the lift area and go to the cat. Um trying to remember how I even do that. I think go the normal route until you get to the elevator. Okay. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. All right. I will go until I get to the elevator. Yet there was not a single person here either. Stanley can't Feeling do a jump, so he can't disbelief, flip. Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Coming to a staircase, Two, eight, Stanley four, walked Thank upstairs you. to his boss's office. Okay, I'll... We didn't do the red door, no, but we will later. Don't worry, we're going to do as many things as we possibly can. Okay, so I'm going to run in there. 2845, we're going to do this. Let's go! 2845! <laughs> Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human. Stanley was in such a rush to get through the story as quickly as possible, he didn't even have a single minute to just let the narrator talk. Hell no! Nah. That kind of anxiety isn't healthy. That's what my so doctor he said. Relaxed for a few moments with some calming new age music. Feeling soothed and rejuvenated, Stanley calmly walked forward into the opened passageway. Okay. Huh, let's go! Alright. Let's see. Oh, hey! A free Stanley! You found one of them. One of the miniature Stanley figurines. Remember, no reward for collecting all of these, only the intrinsic pleasure of a job well done. Yeah. You can't buy that sort of happiness, Stanley. God knows I've tried. True, so, true. I implore you to savor each and every moment you come across one of these beautiful figurines. Okay. So, you want me to go in the elevator, and then, once I go down, turn around and hit up. Okay. I will do this for you guys. Apparently, the red door ending is astounding, I guess. Well, we'll get to that when we get to that. Don't you worry. Okay, so then... Ups. Let's go! Oops. Nope. Uh, never mind. Stanley actually got back into the elevator and went back up. Silly me. Yeah. Why did Stanley do that when he knew that it would just lead back to his boss's office? He has a well, nice that's couch. that's a great question. I just can't wait to find out. It's got really nice, uh, nice styles, you know? Let's go. Let's riggedy riggedy rock 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 the house. Here we are, Stanley. It's your boss's office. Yeah. Exactly the way it was before you got onto the elevator. It's still just exactly what it is. Yeah. 
What a decision you've made to come up here and look at the office again. Yeah. This has fleshed out the plot of the story in new and fascinating ways I could have never anticipated. That's what they it's pay me that for. Keen eye for storytelling that you have. An incisive rapid fire of critical plot points, one after the other, weaving a rich tapestry of uncompromising narrative. Wow. <laughs> I'm glad you I'm appreciate it. To the edge of my seat. Oh, that seems uncomfortable. You probably shouldn't adhere yourself so, stri uh, you know, strictly. Well, the narrator literally just blew me up, so I don't mind mildly inconveniencing him. Oh, you want okay, now do the do it again? Okay! I like making the narrator frustrated. I mean, what have I got to lose? I'm an immortal. Incredible. Now he's getting back into the elevator and going down again. Ladies and gentlemen... How does he keep coming up with all of this? Oh, it's a gift. Don't you worry about that. You know me. You know me. Anyway. Boop. Did you think we were going to go forward down the spooky corridor? No. It's time once again to go back up in the elevator. I like elevators. I can't even begin to grapple with what might be up there. Yeah. Is it the boss's office again? Or what if it's the boss's office this time? We can the only hope. The is killing me. That's what I'm hoping for. I'm looking for. I'm looking forward to it, man. Come on, boss's office. Let's freaking go! Woo! Up, 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 up. Here we are. Oh my God! It's the boss's office. My God! <sighs> this absolutely changes everything for me. Give me a time out here for a minute while I process this. No, take your time, buddy. It's a, it's a pretty big drama bomb, I know. Where'd they get this footage of Nightstar? Okay, I'm ready. Are you good? I'm prepared to embrace this stunning revelation and to move forward with... No! No, wait! Huh? No! I need more time to process. Oh, that's understandable. Don't worry. It's totally fine. Take all the time you need, narrator. I stream every Sunday at this exact time. Man, that Nightstar do be getting himself him drinking, though. Gotta get that drink. All right. I have fully come to terms with it. Oh, glad to hear it. I have it. made space in my worldview for this astonishing new reality. As before, I turn to your expert eye for gripping narrative, Master Stanley. Hey. All right, let's go back down the elevator. Yeah, the world the world kind of just exploded a little bit, and now I'm just deliberately trolling the narrator because it's funny. Of course. Going back down the elevator. How did I not anticipate it? Yeah. I mean, sure, now it's obvious, yeah, but you I have know, to understand right? that 30 seconds ago, this kind of thing had never been attempted before. Oh, I'm I had a mold no breaker. frame of reference to even anticipate it. That's just how revelatory Stanley's decision-making is. Yeah. A breath of fresh air in a landscape of storytelling that has grown stale and repetitive. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know, I'm always pushing those boundaries. Always challenging you. Keeping you on your toes, you know? Anywho. Well, you don't got anything to say on that one? Have we have we mined the comedic hmm. potential? You know what? What do I know? I've just thought of something. Hold on, let's stop for a moment. Oh. Don't you realize? It's the anticipation, Stanley. True. You and I, we have no way of knowing what will be at the top of this elevator. Mm. But the suspense, the agony of waiting and anticipating and having to guess, mm. that's the real thrill. It's true. Oh, I simply don't want to let that feeling go. It's so precious, so fleeting. Why don't we take this elevator ride nice and slow? Fine by me. Let's go. There we go. Isn't this so much more exciting? You know, All the Stanley, thrills of climbing like the Shinra building. It seems like nowadays the only thing that audiences want is to be shocked as loudly and frequently as possible. They it's want true. big, explosive moments flung right in their faces from the very moment that things get started. It is true. But where's the tension? 
Where's the trust in the audience to build a slow and nuanced appreciation for the story? It's the like characters. that story about the bomb underneath Why the table. The audience time doesn't to know when it's going to go off. To have to think and to anticipate and then to marvel at the eventual reveal. This is storytelling, Stanley. Mm. What you and I are doing right now. This is the most exciting narrative to be developed in years. It's true. And it's really all because of you. Thank you. You're the one who took this bold step of revisiting the exact same locations over and over. Truly, I mean it. This is unique and different. It's not like anything else out there. You Thank see, you. I want stories that surprise me, Stanley. I want to have to think. The narrator be is being so nice to me today. Not to. After he We're blew being me up, of fed course. such unimaginative drivel all the time, bad. and we all know it. Which is why we're so starved for content that makes us feel sharp and vital and alive. Okay. That's why people like you so much, Stanley. Because you're not afraid to spit in the face of tradition. You're it's a true. role model, you know. People look up to you. Oh well, they should. Which do is that. why, though, I didn't know when to spring this on you, but well. I've gathered a little press conference for you, oh. so that you can talk about your work and your storytelling and your life. Yes, I know you're not much for the public eye, but I thought yeah, it I would especially mean anxious. a lot to the people who have been following you from the beginning. They really look up to you, Stanley. I don't know if you realize the impact you have on them. Oh. This is the kind of gesture that might leave a tremendous impact on them for the better. Oh good, we're here. Oh, neat. Okay, the room where we're holding the press conference should be just around the corner here somewhere. Oh, and I can't go back down? Well, okay, all right. If this is the way things are going to be. Let's see, world's healthiest human being. Oh, man, that lady do be having a great time eating that salad. How we did it, the pyramids. The answer, aliens, apparently. Not really, that was that's stupid. Anyway, live, the guy who went to Mars. Oh, damn, they got Doug? Nice. Your face reminds me of Superliminal. How about that? World Peace Baby. <gasps> How'd they get that photo of Night Star? As a baby. Ah, Everyone knows yes. he's the World Peace Here Baby. Here it is, just through this door. Oh, all right. Stanley, tonight, live on stage. Wow. Stanley, from the Stanley Parable. I see the man, the myth, the legend. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That makes sense. That makes sense. The world's first sentient machine. <gasps> wow. What a time to be alive. Ah! Why'd you punch me? All right. Are you ready? I've told them you're going to speak a little bit about the nature of surprise in storytelling and what it means to craft a truly unpredictable narrative. Oh, don't worry. You'll do great. Just be yourself and speak from the heart. I'm, I'm really proud of you, Stanley. Oh, thank you. Okay. It looks like they're ready for you. Go get them. Do I get almonds? Also, is Stanley's last name Ryder? Because that's a pretty dope name. I'm not going to lie. Stanley Ryder. <gasps> the dude who came up with pizza! He's second only to the man who invented the air conditioner! Holy crap! I am walking among... I am standing on the shoulders of giants today! My god! Yeah, I wanna... I wanna go to that... <laughs> Sc screw anything I have to do, say, or think. I wanna meet this dude! Man! Also, oh, apparently God? That's neat, but I still, I'm still i still jazzed about that pizza. Ooh, the storyteller. Stanley reveals all in his new book. I do have a book. Up, again, down again. The Stanley story. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Let's see. An unforgiving account of ups as well as downs. Highs and lows. Isn't that what life's about? Star Magazine. Man, man. Let's see. Let's see. Congratulations, Stanley. Remember where you came from. Your coworkers. Oh, it's nice to see that they re remember me. Story. Wow. Thanks for showing me that cool skateboard trick in the parking lot. You are too cool. Good luck on stage. Rock on. Well, you know. <laughs> I, 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 I did. I did flip a pretty nasty kickflip. Let's be real. Let's be real. This is awesome. This is great. This is stupendous. Okay. All right. 
Wow, Nerys, this is the greatest sarcasm I've seen. I bow to it, seriously. You know, if Nightstar were an all-seeing, all-powerful, omniscient god, I guarantee, without a shadow of a doubt, without the slightest bit of hesitation in my heart or mind, that he would absolutely single out just some random dude and absolutely, like, just reconstruct the world to be the most sarcastic dimension of reality you've ever seen in your life. Woo! My goodness! Hi, everybody! I think that went rather well. Man, that was awesome. Okay, wow. I guess that we'll call that the Stanley Superstar ending. That was a good one. I liked it. I liked it. All righty, dighty, 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 dighty. All dighty, of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. He won every he won every Nobel Prize all at once, and also a Golden Globe. Red door this time. I don't. Okay, wait. Two more endings on the left door. Normal, I mean. All right. Okay, well, I mean, a lot of people are really invested in the red door. Could I do red door before we do the rest of the left door but, uh, endings? Is that cool with you guys? Also, how do I get the red door back? <laughs> I'm trying to remember, and I don't entirely do, you see. All right, I just got to go to the right. Then I will. When right, Stanley came time. to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Nah. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Mayhaps. Mayhaps. Ah, yes. Truly a room worth admiring. It had really been worth the detour after all. Okay. Just to spend you want me to a few jump off the moving platform under the catwalk. Right, right, right. You wouldn't room. let me go through that one Stanley time simply the stood here, drinking it all in. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Nah. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. Joke's on you, I was. I've only ever had one job my entire life, and I did get fired from it. Let's go! I guess let go is the more polite way of phrasing it, but we all know what that's code for. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. Maybe. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. Yes, you are. I realize that investing your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this Tally time. Tally-ho! Really? I was in the middle of something. Do you have zero consideration for others? I are lack a lot of things. Are convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? Why? Yeah. I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do want to help you, to show you something beautiful. Look, let me prove it. Let me prove that I'm on your side. Give me a chance. Hmm. Hup. Stanley do got now mad listen hops. Carefully. Oh, there's this the is red important. door. Stanley walked through the red door. Okay, 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 okay. But, hang on. If I am going to do this... Then let me see something really quick here, okay? Let's see. Do-do-do-do-do. And then it should be probably, I don't know, I imagine somewhere in this, maybe? Yep, there you are. All right. If I'm going to have to go through the red door, then... And then... And then Kermit went through the blue door. Okay. All right. I just had to make sure that somebody went through the right door. Okay, let's go. Oh, thank God you are willing to listen to me. Today. You see that I really have wanted you to be happy all this time. The problem is all these choices. The two of us always trying to get somewhere that isn't here. Running and running and running just the way you're doing right now. Don't you see that it's killing us, Stanley? Perhaps. I just, I wanted to stop. I'm in a big square. I would, we would both be so much happier if we just stopped and i think well i think i have a solution do you yeah let me show you sure go for it uh-oh 
Uh, he opened up both doors, and I've been running around in circles so many or in squares, actually, that I'm not entirely sure which way is, uh... Maybe they lead to the exact same place. Let's hope. Let's hope. It's actually the same door. Dope, dope, hmm. dope. What do we want? What are we looking for? Hmm? Here. Yes. Oh, it's beautiful, isn't it? If we just stay right here, right in this moment with this place, Stanley, I think I feel happy. It's so blue. And I shiny. actually feel happy. <laughs> I'll just lay down. It's kind of like when you shut your eyes really tight and you get like those little green dimensional thingamadoos kind of swirling around in your in your brain or something. You ever do that? It's like a big old space donut. Goodbye, blue things. <laughs> I like that literally everybody did know what I was talking about <laughs> with the green vortex thingies. <laughs> nice. Uh, ooh, green ones! Now it's exactly like it! Oh, everything is all green. Greeny. Oh, red. Well, now it's looking a little bit like Christmas up in here. Ho, ho, ho! Oh, your little space floaties are blue. Oh, maybe they're different colors for people. I've only ever known the ones that show up in my brain. Ooh. Mountain Dew code red. Whoa. It's like I'm inside a lava lamp. That's pretty neat. That's pretty neat. Oh. Man, this place is cool. I can see why you wanted me to come in here. I'm going to be real. Fern, 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 what are you doing? No, Fern, Fern, no, look, look, no, no, no. J just trust me on this one. It's pretty, but you don't want to go into the light, okay? We need you here. You're needed right here to watch over the, the Settings World Championship thing, okay? If you're not there, someone could run off and take it. All right, you just chill. You just chill. Do we have to leave? Oh! Oh, look at all the shiny things! Oh, this is so cool! Now it's more like I'm in an old-timey screensaver. Oh, this goes on forever? Oh, okay. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to waste your guys' time. I was just kind of enjoying the ambiance. Now, this has been delightful. This has been a time. No, wait. Where are you going? Home. Oh, no. Stay away from those stairs. If you hurt yourself, if you die, the game will reset. Oh. We'll lose all of this. Bummer. Please, no, Stanley, let me stay here. Don't take this from me. 
Look, my guy... Please, Stanley, think about what you're doing. Oh. I see, I see. That's dark. That's dark as heck. Huh. 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 No! Oh! I actually didn't mean to do that. Oh. Thank God. I just wanted to look you over did. the edge. Whoopsie. You had me worried there for a moment. Ah, don't worry. Now, can we please get back to the other room? Yeah, sure, why not? Although I do think I'm walking slower now. My leg is probably busted. Man, look how shiny this mess is. There. See? This is what you want. This is where we can both be happy. We really can. Well, honestly, if I'd we really like a doctor moving, for my leg. We just have to stop moving. I mean, this place is nice, but, you know, we can't stay here forever. It'd make for a really boring stream. Stanley, go back. There's nothing good that can come from this. Oh, there's plenty of good. Like a bucket. Remember the bucket? I could grab it and we could go on some of our old adventures, but no. it'll be different because I have a no, bucket. No, what are you doing, Stan? Do you just not believe me? What can I say to convince you? Give me $20. Unless you do that, I'm, I, I'm just going to mosey along, man. I got, I got places to be, brother. Whee! Stanley, Ow. let's go back to the other room. Can you do that for me? Man. You know, it's one thing for it to kill me instantly. But man, the fact that I gotta do it my multiple God. times. Is this really how much you dislike my game? No, I love Did it. You'll throw yourself from this platform over and over to be rid of it? No, I want You're to experience more of it. You're literally willing to kill yourself to keep me from being happy. Oh, well, that's Am not I what I want. Am reading the situation correctly? No, you're not. You're reading it entirely incorrectly. I've actually grown to adore this game in a lot of ways. It's entertained me in so many different capacities that I wasn't actually prepared for. Like, when people suggested this game to me, I didn't know what I was getting myself into. I figured it was maybe even only going to be like a one-and-done, kind of artsy-fartsy, what's you have, what you know, what you have, it's, you know, nothing special. But, man, I've been having so much fun. It's pretty great. It's pretty fantastic. So, listen. Listen, narrator. I know we have our ups. We have our downs. Sometimes we work together. Sometimes we don't. But, listen. Listen, listen. I don't want you to not be happy. I want you to be able to experience new things. To stay in this place alone? Well, that won't bring you true happiness. It'll bring you complacency. And eventually, the shiny lights will eventually lose their luster to you. And then what will, will you have? Where will you be? Nothing. You'll just be stuck in a big shiny room. And it's nice. It's a nice room. But there are still so many more bold and inventive things for us to do. It's, it's good times, man. So if a little bit of internal hemorrhaging is required in order to facilitate our continued growth and the further development of our relationship as narrator and guy who is told to do stuff by a narrator, then let me tell you, let me tell you, I'm going to jump off this railing. Well, maybe you're just getting Damn a it, kick still out alive. of it. I don't know anymore. I just wanted us to get along. But I guess that was too much to ask. Well, we get along plenty of it times. It looks like you wanted to make a choice after all. Well, this one is yours. I mean, quite frankly, you could just, you know, use your weird reality-bending abilities to just sort of stop me if you really wanted to. And... Come on, new ending! Is it over? There we are. It's going to restart, isn't it? Yeah. I'm going back. It is. And now we're back. All right. You know, that was pretty dark, but I feel like I was able to mitigate it a little bit. Jesus Christ, oh my... Maya, no! <laughs> I thought I was just telling a joke. <laughs> you don't gotta do that. I was having a grand old time jumping off a platform to my death. And then someone stuffed $20 into my pant pocket. Who does that? <sighs> All right, fine. Fine. All Obviously, I thank you. Gone. What could it mean? You're a real Stanley nice guy. decided gal. to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. All right. I didn't know you could like super chats. So what, people can agree with it or something? <laughs> Yeah, no, listen, uh, here's the thing about donating. 
It's a thing that people can do, and I literally can't stop them. But at no point in time... Take that! Oh, thank you, Phoenix. At no point in time will I ever ask anybody to ever donate. Ever. That's not a thing I ever expect or ask of you. Okay? When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he right. entered the door on his left. Well, let's just head down to Funky Town. And then. And then. Oh, what? Ooh, this is slightly different. I just watch my videos. That's the best way to do it. Trust the completionist instinct. Okay, first and foremost, Nightstar, you really shouldn't be donating to me, my guy. More so than others. I feel like you're going to deeply regret that decision of yours in the future. Anyway, let's see. You got two, so that triggered this. I see, I see. What the da? <sighs> you started something and I'm ending something. Let's see. Inside of a sequel exhibit, a large room, lots of boxes, stairs. Something to do with stairs. Somewhere both red and blue. Nearby a fireplace, a private but smelly place for an important person. Oh, so that's the point of that bathroom. Okay, well, at least I can do that. Maybe if I ignore the fact that people are donating this stuff. Let's see. There must be a point to this. Oh, no, there isn't. There totally isn't. Lol, looks like... 927? Ha ha ha. Oh, I get it, I get it. I gotta, gotta collect them all. <sighs> Thank you, Blue. Thank you, Reyna. We can stop now. We're good! I'm pretty sure everybody who's physically capable of donating has done so. We can all dial it back and look at this bottom text. Yeah, don't worry about it. If you watch my videos, you already support me more than I can ask. Okay? Take that! Small floating objects have appeared across the office. We have to synergize our resources to ensure the retrieval. There are many questions, but there was no memo for management. All right, thank you, GP, on that one. Okay. <sighs> thank you, Blaze. Crikey, you guys are... You guys are very strange. Please do not leave the office before reporting back on any new findings. Teamwork and communication are of great importance during the, uh, this unprecedented time of investigation. Fascinating stuff. Ooh, clue.jpg. Hmm. Are you saying that in a derogatory sense? Because if you are, I'm going to have to jettison you from the stream. I'm gonna give you a uh, no, no. You're not. You're not. You're not. You're not doing that in a way that's insulting. Because I have a zero. I have a zero tolerance for that. Okay. Well, if if all you're doing is being legitimately curious, nay, I am. I am very much straight. Weird thing to randomly ask a man, though. Anywho. Let's go and see if we can get into that executive washroom. Coming to a staircase, that, that Stanley walked thingy. upstairs to his boss's office. Yeah, no, it's a very strange question to come out of nowhere. And considering Take the world that. we live in, I was left to believe that it could have possibly been insulting. And if it was, that's a no-no. Anywho, executive bathroom. Now, where is that thing? Hey, it's right on the toilet! Hell yeah! Another miniature Stanley figurine. This, um, you know... There really must be a snappier name for these things. What about mini stands? Mini stands? Stanley figs. Um, what about Stanlerines? Yes, I think I like that. Another Stanlerine under your belt. Nice to a Stanlerine. I got the feeling money's for stealing, but it's yours calls. It is on the pooper. It do be the pooper scooper. It's going to be a stanky figure. I think there's a door you can back away from before Take it that. Yeah, probably. Phoenix! I appreciate it, but we've already received all donationos, all right? You don't gotta keep on raving so hard all the dang time, all right? Okay, I think we all know the drill by now. Blah, blah, blah. Dark secrets, the keypad. Stanley pushes some buttons. Oh, hey, look, it's a new passageway. Kill surprise. Well, damn, all right. If we're gonna be all like that, damn. 
It's more insulting question whether or not the person is going to come. Have we received yet? Yeah. I think we've received all of them. I'm not sure. I can't actually see my own screen, so if that last one said Blaze, then that is the last of them. We got that going. All right. So anyway, we're headed towards the escape ending. Hey, don't tell me what to do. It's too late. I'm already over here now. Got to be quicker than. Got to be quicker than that. Got to be quicker than that. Uh, Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. More like Stanley friggin' moonwalked his way to the escape corridor. Although this passageway had the word escape written on it, the truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley would meet his violent death. Eh. Wouldn't be the first time. The door behind him was not shut. Stanley still had every opportunity to turn around and get back on track. Yeah, I know. At this point, Stanley was making a conscious, concerted effort to walk forward Actually, and willingly confront his death. I'm walking backwards. Eh? Oh. Did I just Looney Tunes myself down a bottomless pit? Oh, I'm still falling. Oh, well, that's different. As the machine whirred into motion and Stanley was inched closer and closer to his demise, he reflected that his life had been of no consequence whatsoever. Never has Stanley been. can't see the bigger picture. He doesn't know the real story, trapped forever in his narrow vision of what this world is. Perhaps his death was of no great loss, Probably like not. plucking the eyeballs from a blind man. Well, that's still be so rude. he resigned and willingly accepted this violent end to his brief and shallow life. Eh. Farewell, Stanley. Later. I'll see you in about half a second when the world restarts. That's the thing about being an immortal. Farewell, Stanley, cried the narrator, Nani? as Stanley was led helplessly into the enormous metal jaws. What? In a single visceral instant, Stanley was obliterated as the machine crushed every bone in his body, killing him instantly. I don't feel dead. Well, never mind. Oh. Huh. Well, that's interesting. And yet it would be just a few minutes before Stanley would restart the game back in his office as alive as ever. Yeah, that's what usually exactly how it goes. What did the narrator think he was going to accomplish? This is the first I've heard of an opposing narrator going against the, the grain. This is strange. Huh. You know, I'm still thinking back to that Looney Tunes moment. That was exceptionally funny. <laughs> I didn't I didn't make a big reaction of it, but dang, I I was floating on air till I looked down. That's hilarious. When every path you can walk has been created for you long in advance, death becomes meaningless, making life the same. You're not wrong. Do you see now? Do you see that Stanley was already dead from the moment he hit start? Hmm. I see. Oh, I like the echo that we got going on in here. Let's see, what's this all said? The blueprint shows the office from the beginning of the game. The path from Stanley's office to the two doors was the first part of the game that was built. Sections have been added and altered throughout development, through the core layout remains almost identical to the first iteration. You don't say. You don't say. That's fancy. That's some fancy stuff right there. Oh, filing cabinets. <laughs> Dear Stanley, how do you type with incorporeal hands? Deleted. <laughs> ah, good times. Oh, you're wasting power, man. When you find narrator outtakes, hang out and listen for a bit. What do you mean narrator outtakes? That sounds dope. The office. <gasps> Luxo Jr. A selection of the sounds used throughout the game when buttons are pressed. Each sound is a mix of keyboard stroke and a synthesized tone. Neat.
Stanley is pushing this button with his head. Dunk. 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 <laughs> YouTube ate my hilarious comments. That's all I needed to hear. All right. Let's see. What else are we doing here? Huh. Fascinating. Uh, let's see. Which door should I go through? Or I guess which hallowed halls? I sim I said simply I H words you. You halibut me? Aw, you're such a good friend. It's a maintenance room, an early version of a maintenance room. Fascinating. Uh, this looks like it might lead somewhere though. So much to do, so much to see. So, hmm. Apparently, Nightstar is enjoying himself some food. Good for him. Let's see, the boss's office. Scene from development of the boss's office. The boss's office's 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 Freedom ending. This was the very first incarnation of the freedom ending in the game's alpha. Fascinating. Why you beep at me? Countdown desk. Ah, the elevator. of a mator. Well, now what's this? <laughs> Oh, look at these two. How they wish to destroy one another. How they wish to control one another. How they both wish to be free. Huh. That's neat. I don't remember this from the game, though. Must be from some ending I haven't found yet. That would make a lot of sense. I'm sure I'll run across whatever that thing is eventually. I'd remember a big switch like that, though, I think. Let's see. Ah, it seems all paths lead to the same locale. Makes sense, it makes sense. Hmm, a phone. Interesting. The apartment timer? In a previous version of the choice leading to the apartment ending, a timer would give you 15 seconds to pick up the phone. Not picking up the phone would lead to a different ending. Huh. I don't remember an apartment ending. I wonder if that's even real. Switch to the exit, so go there last. Uh, the game is now paused. Wrong! The sequel is now paused! Get with the program, damn it. Ooh. Went through many iterations. This room represents the fourth version of the ending. Nifty. Oh, you won't even let me pull the thing. What's a Zending, anyway? You haven't got the apartment ending yet. Apparently not. Trailers. We ran four major teaser trailers over the course of the game's development, each meant to convey something about the spirit of the game. This is the first one released in May of 2012. It features a series of broken rooms as the voice of the narrator informing viewers that he is repairing a new version of the Stanley Probable. Of the Stanley Probable. I'll pick up your phone, nerd. Let's see. What else is there to do? You're a combination of endings. Oh. So fancy, so fancy. From left to right, the evolution of Stanley's office over time. The first was created in November 2011, the second in May, March 2012, and the third in February of 2013. These are marginal. <laughs> These are marginal, man. All right. Let's see. Is there anything else I've been uh, missing? Oh, hello. What's this? So, uh, what is this strange number? Could you tell me the significance of the number 1112800? After the second trailer, we sent out, uh, we asked people to email the narrator for questions. While we had initially planned to use these for the promotional materials, we never found the perfect use for them. Here are a selection of those emails. Oh. There's your problem. You haven't hired Strongman. Ooh, a war zone. Early in development, we designed an ending where Stanley would end up on a battlefield fighting aliens. The action game would become sentient and would wage war against the narrator. We realized shortly after starting to build it that it was far too jokey and on the nose for the tone of the game. Plus, some people interpreted it as making fun of people who like shooters, which was not our intention. Or at very least, that's what HR is telling us we should tell you. In, in actuality, that was very much the goal in the first place. Ooh, Ultra Deluxe announcements. In December of 2018, we announced the Ultra Deluxe version of the Stanley Parable at the Game Awards. These are screenshots of the videos we made for the announcement of the game's, uh, wait, the game's delay. And the game, oh, oh, so fancy, so fancy.
Yeah. Uh, so do any of you guys know if there's anything else I should be doing or if I should be flipping that switch now or something? Because I'm just kind of wandering around at the speed of Stan. Ooh, what's this? Then he pushed the number six. Then he pushed the number four. When Stanley came to the lift, he traveled upward to the power source at the top of the facility. Now to end this injustice the shore would get him right back on track to where he was supposed to be in the story. Where were all of his co-workers? Oh, I don't know. How about they're throwing a surprise party for him for all his button pushing. Does that sound plausible to you? Stanley pushed the big red button. Just wait a bit? Okay. I'll wait. Stanley stood now look closely, Stanley. See how it's impossible Stanley for the player to do Stanley. anything in this room. Perfect example of poor Stanley level design, textbook and mistake. Finally, it's the kind of thing you pick up on intuitively if you have even the most mm. fundamental understanding of good and well, bad Well, in that case, I'll tell you what, you win. But of course, you Congratulations. Win. You'll probably spend the you next hour trying to solve it. I know you put Here, in a lot of hard work. I'm just going to make this really easy paid off. So, good job. Oh, I'm dizzy. Hmm. What do we do now? Yeah. I don't... Stanley, where are you right now? Where, where am I? Oh, I'm, I'm trying to figure out, but I, I can't... Stanley, who am I? Can you speak to me? Please talk. I cannot have we done this before? Have we been in this room before? How many times have we done this? How many times have I said these exact words? Say something to anything. Help me, Stanley. I don't know who I... What I... I Stanley, help... Don't... Oh. Well, he sure tried. He sure tried. Stanley pushed the number six. Fascinating. In fact, almost a little bit ominous, one might even truly say. Also, 2018 was six years ago. God, is that just the most disturbing sentence possible? All right. Well, that being s -s 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 said, I guess it's time for me to hit the big ol' switch. All right. Distressing female narrator. No, no, no. Nightstar is content. Can you see? Can you see how much they need one another? Eh? No, perhaps not. Sometimes these things cannot be seen. Oh. But listen to me. You can still save these two. You can stop the program before they both fail. What? Push escape and press quit. There's no other way to beat this game. Eh? As long as you move forward, you'll be walking someone else's path. Stop now and it'll be your only true choice. But I want content. Don't choose it. Don't let time choose for you. Don't let time. No, I'm good. I got squished. Oh, well, that looks different. And now there's only one major ending without the bucket, but... Uh... All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Uh, this is different. <laughs> I didn't accept my death as much as I more so just kind of... I don't know. Wanted content. 426? Neat! I activated dog mode! Hey! Clicking makes doggy noises now! Neat! I think this is ultra deluxe exclusive. Uh, hang on. Hang on. This is important for reasons. There we are. Just gonna grab myself this. There we are. Then we'll just go over there. Now I think that it was just extremely rare. You don't say. Second only to the broom closet. 
Oh, the broom closet. All right, let's see here. Don't just go ahead and slap a do, slap o da, slap o dee dee be da. Yeah, okay. I feel like that made the point get across pretty well. Uh, whoop, accidentally almost deleted the entire stream. That would have been a bad idea. Okay. No. <laughs> oh, well. I do like this room a whole lot more than the other one. But okay, so apparently, heckin' bow, and I cannot stress this next part quite firmly enough, a bow. Okay. So there's one more ending without the bucket. Uh, does anybody know how to get this ending? <laughs> Before I, I get myself into a, a big old conundrum. I guess I'm just going to bark now. That's weird. All right. Go to the right. You got it, girl. When Stanley came to a set of Going two open two. doors, this was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Bow, Perhaps bow. he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Ride the lift, but don't jump off. You wow. got it. Yes, this room. What a beautiful room. What a gorgeous, gorgeous room. Thank goodness Stanley had taken this detour on his way to the meeting room. Life without having experienced this room was now too horrible even to consider. Yes. Really, really worth it being here in the room. A room so utterly captivating that even though all your co-workers have mysteriously vanished, here you sit looking at these chairs and some paintings. Really worth it. Well, here's the difference. Night! Maya's friend. I'd listen to you if you gave me instructions, too. At this, but eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Nah. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. I am dog. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off I on would the if wrong I could, foot Knight. here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. We're gonna have to get that There's later. someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. Please, stop trying to make every decision by yourself. Now, I'm not asking for me. I'm asking for her. This is it, Stanley. Your chance to redeem yourself. To put your work aside. To let her back into your life. She's been waiting. I like to think Stanley's transformed into a dog, which makes the entire thing the narrator is trying to do exceptionally silly. That's her, Stanley. You need to be the one to do this. To reach out so to her. So pick up the phone? If you can truly place your faith in another, then pick up the phone. Okay. Yes, hello, this is Dog. Oh, Stanley, is that you? Uh, hold on, sweetie, sorry to keep you waiting. I'm just pulling the bread out of the oven. All right. Okay, there we go. Bow. All right, now. I, I did it for you. <laughs> Same hat. Right. You're down. <laughs> gotcha. Bow. Oh, come on. Did you actually think you had a loving wife? No. They want to commit their life to you. I know, right? I'm trying to make a point here, Stanley. I'm trying to get you to see something. Come inside. Let me show you what's really going on here. Okay. Yeah, don't worry. I was under no delusion that anyone could ever love me. That was never a problem. This is a very sad story about the death of a man named Stanley. Oh, good morning. Uh, press I on your keyboard. Stanley is quite a boring fellow. He has a job that demands nothing of him, and every button that he pushes is a reminder of the inconsequential nature of his existence. Uh, okay. 
Look at him there, pushing buttons, doing exactly what he's told to do. Not like I have any now other options. he's pushing a button. Now, he's eating lunch. It's too late now, for lunch. Now, he's going home. Now, he's coming back to work. One might even feel sorry for him, except that he's chosen this life. I don't remember choosing to put a door, or rather, a chair in front of the door. But in his mind, ah, in his mind, he can go on fantastic adventures. From behind his desk, Stanley dreamed of wild expeditions into the unknown. Fantastic discoveries of new lands. It was wonderful. And each day that he returned to work was a reminder that none of it would ever happen to him. You think we got any otter pops? And so he began to fantasize about his own job. Yeah, gotta have a First, he imagined one. that one day while at work, he stepped up from his desk to realize that all of his co-workers, his boss, everyone in the building had suddenly vanished off the face of the earth. The thought excited him terribly. Man, this room is tiny. Du Bois? So he went further. He imagined that he came to two open doors and that he could go through either. At last, choice. It barely even mattered what lay behind each door. The mere thought that his decisions would mean something was almost too wonderful to behold. I am dog. Your existentialism doesn't work on dog. As he wandered through this fantasy world, Ooh. he began to fill it with many possible paths and More destinations. My Down pops. one path lay an enormous round room with monitors and mind controls. And down another was a yellow line that weaved in many directions. I remember and down that. down another was a game with a baby. Yeah, I and remember that too. the Stanley Parable. Good times. Good times. I don't have any children, you silly. It was such a wonderful fantasy, and so in his head, he relived it again, and then again, and again, over and over, wishing beyond hope that it would never end, that he might always feel this free. Surely there's an answer down some new path, mustn't there be? Perhaps if he played just one more time. Oh, shush, Maya. Oh, now that's a video game power I would love to be able to have. Mm, 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 mm. Fascinating. But I mean, ultimately, your attempts to try to dress me down like this are completely and utterly futile. Um, I, I'm, 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 I'm purposely going down through each and every path, and you're like, oh, oh, maybe there's a different answer down a different path. Oh, pathetic Stanley. Oh, he doesn't know what's going on. I'm so British. Like, bro, I'm deliberately going down every conceivable path to hear the new funny things that come out of your weird British face hole. Hey, here's an idea, Nightstar. Shut up! But there is no answer. How could there possibly be? You interrupted reality, my rant! All he's doing you is stop talking! The same buttons he always has. Man, Nothing has the changed. Office coming back. That's the longer neat. he spends here, the more invested he gets. The more he forgets which life is the real one. I'm gonna take a nap. I like naps. And I'm trying to tell him this. Nice star speaks this no world, truth. He can never be anything but an observer. That as long as he remains here, he's slowly killing himself. But he won't listen to me. He won't stop. Here, watch this. I miss Stand my mannequin. Me. The next time the screen asks you to push a button, do not do it. Don't tell me what to do. Beep. You see? Can he just not hear me? How can I tell him in a way that he'll understand that every second he remains here, he's electing to kill himself? How can I get him to see what I see? How can I make him look at himself? Ow. I suppose I can't. Not in the way I want him to. But I don't make the rules. I simply play to my intended purpose. The when is dinner time? Me. We're not so different, I suppose. I'll try once more to convey all this to him. I'm compelled to. I must. Perhaps, well, maybe this time you'll see. Maybe this time. And I tried again, and Stanley pushed a button. And I tried again, and Stanley pushed a button. That's an unreasonable request. And I tried. Oh. Da 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 da. Huh. Well, that was something. That was quite Wait, the adventure we just had himself. ourselves. Am I sure Aww. that the orders stopped coming in? 
How is that possible? My bow bow button they is gone. Stopped. Surely I was mistaken. The heck you going on about using a cheat code? Oh, that's a good idea. That's a good idea, Knight. That's it. That's a good idea. Hang on a second. There we go. I'm feeling pretty content with that. The moment is past. Your face is past. How about that, Jack and Ape? Anyway, what the hell am I doing now? I got one person saying, hey, yo, grab that bucket. Now I got another person saying, hey, yo, use that cheat code. Like, what the heck are you talking about, cheat code? It would have been a very funny way to end that ending, though. <laughs> That's you. That's what you sound like. Okay? I'm out here doing my best trying to be Mr. Funny Guy. Trying to have ourselves a grand old time. And then you have to show up and say, Hey, did you know you're not funny? As if I didn't know. As if that was news. It's not. You know, one day Zach is finally going to understand that I'm always playing things up for comedic effect and that Nightstar is actually my closest friend and I don't ever harbor ill will towards him. Maybe one day he'll finally understand that. Anyway, I'd say pick up the bucket and do literally any ending. You got it! Stanley lifted the bucket into his arms, and a wave of comfort rushed over him. It do be a pretty swell bucket. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest and entered the door on his left. Oh, wait a second. I know what to do. This was not the correct way to I know the exactly room, what needs to be done. But Stanley had felt the bucket calling to him, telling him that the employee lounge was simply the place to be. And here it was. Had the bucket turned out to be correct? The was bucket this is always better correct. than the meeting room? Yes, Stanley thought to himself. Yes, perhaps it truly was. Mm. How insightful the bucket turned out to be. This is a good bucket. It's a real good bucket. I hope. No, never mind. The bucket was wrong. The bucket was never wrong. Stanley took the door on his left to go back to the meeting room. Nah. No, said the bucket. Don't go to the meeting room. Go somewhere else. The cargo lift, yes. Go there. Go to the cargo lift. Nah. Okay, I'm going back to the name of these little Stanley figurines. And now I'm torn between Stanlerines and Figlies. Figlies? Think, oh, I like Figlies. What name better encapsulates the intrinsic sense of happiness that you get from seeing a small number in the corner of your screen go up by one? Figly. Let me sit on it. I'm sure it will come to me. Totally Figly. Figly wiggly, if you will. Figly wiggly, piggly, diggly, diggly, jiggly, billy, hoo. Ooh, I wonder where I'm going. Oh, now where the heck and heck am I? Let's go back a bit. Why are people bothered by the fact that I agree that a Looney Tunes ending would have been a great ending? No one's bothered by it, you stink weasel. Let's see, screw it. I got it. Okay. I have a bucket. Where am I? <gasps> Nightstar's home media system. Okay. This is day number 295. Tape number. <laughs> I don't even know. I've lost track. It's number 17, it is. Nothing feels real anymore. The longer I study this bucket, the less sense anything makes. The bucket knows all, mate. The sheer euphoria I feel every time I pick it up. Why? Goodness. No matter how many times I've done it, it's always the same feeling. And the emptiness in my chest when I set it down. I think maybe I shouldn't do that. It doesn't make sense. There's no explanation for it. Always there. I still haven't figured out why I see the world so differently. Differently when this bucket is in my arms. I do love the bucket. Why everything feels so. What do I do with this treasure? 
I can... I can monetize it. Who? Hey. Yes. Monetize the book. It's unthinkable the amounts of money people will pay for even just an hour with the bucket. With the bucket? This is my golden ticket. I don't want to go to Wonkaville. But I have to be careful. Because as soon as this one gets out, there's going to be a target on my back. Even now, I don't know who might be trying to get... What's that? Who's there? Is your bucket, Steve? Me bucket. Huh. You know what's honestly kind of funny? Hang on a second. That ending is very special. Hang on a second, because it's crazy. Hang on, check this out. Because it's essentially this one image online. Hang on a second. There we are. I'll just go ahead and... Uh grab this and we'll save that there and close that up right there hang on a second here and then we just okay that entire ending no matter how you look at it is basically just this I has a bucket no they seem to be stealing my bucket like <laughs> <laughs> That's basically what that entire thing was. That's just silly to me. Anywho, that's not even what I wanted Stanley to do. decided to go to the meeting room to check on his co-workers. He never functioned well by himself, and caught the confusion and the chaos all seemed to melt away as Stanley embraced the bucket. Yeah, it's a pretty cool bucket. Anyway, I got a thing that I wanted to do with the bucket. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest. This I know it has a whole website. It's existed room, for like 22 years. But Stanley years. had felt the bucket calling to him, telling him that the employee lounge was simply the place to be. I missed my bow and bow button. And here it was. Had the bucket turned out to be correct? No, never mind. The bucket was wrong. The bucket is never wrong Stanley and you know it. Stanley took the door on his left to go back to the meeting room. No, said the bucket. Don't go to the meeting room. Go somewhere else. Tell me how! But Stanley feared that any path he walked might lead to the separation of himself and the bucket, his dearest friend. So he threw himself to his death that they might die in one another's arms. How deeply touching. Not as touch to the floor. How about that one? Hey, yo. <laughs> All right, there you go. There's My two bucket God, endings for you guys. The scarcity in here is absolutely overwhelming. A thousand? You people have got to be nuts. How can you stand this much bumpscosity? <laughs> uh, oh, he finally took note of the bumpscosity that I bumped. Oh, that's delightful. That's delightful. All right, come on, Bucket. Warmth spread through Stanley's arms. With the Bucket in his arms again, he was home. Stanley clutched the Bucket tightly to his chest and entered the door on his left. The true bumpscosity of it all. Bumpscosatatatasity. Bumpscositasity. Hooshpasigosity. Hushapasasasi. A sausalis triangle. A sausalis fish sandwich. I don't know what to do now. Go to the phone? With the bucket? Huh. Uh, say follow the narrator in, like normal, except now with a bucket. Or that. How did I get to the phone again? Pick an ending at random. I'm trying to remember. Ah, oh, right. The, the phone is... This was gotcha. not the okay. correct way sure. to the meeting room. But Stanley had felt the bucket calling to him. I remember how to get to the phone the now. Hang on, I can do that. was simply the place to be. And here it was. Had the bucket turned out to be correct? Was yes. this better than the meeting room? Yes. No. Never mind. The bucket was wrong. The bucket is always Stanley right. Stanley took the door on his left to go back to the meeting room. Don't tell me what to do, narrator. No, said the bucket. Don't go to the meeting room. Go somewhere else. 
The cargo lift, yes. Go there. Go to the car. Good, said the bucket. Now ride the lift all the way to the top. There's something up there I need you to do. Okay. Stanley did not question why or how this bucket was speaking to him. It should have alarmed him, of course, because buckets can't talk. They but Stanley chose want. not to think about this obvious fact. He was firmly convinced that the bucket had spoken to him, and he unthinkingly did whatever the bucket asked. Yeah. Yeah. The bucket knows what up. I will unplug this bucket! In here, said the bucket. Go into this dark room over here. Stanley once again obeyed blindly. This room isn't dark at all. What are you talking about, you big stinky nerd? You silly bucket. Do you not know how light works because you're a bucket? Now pick up the phone, said the bucket. I pick up the phone and it will take us back home where we can go about life together. Uh, I spit upon the bucket. <laughs> Hold on. Why did you unplug the phone? Were you trying to resist the bucket's orders? Yes. Stanley, I was joking. Too bad. Obviously, anyway. the bucket isn't talking to you and telling you to do things. Nani? Buckets can't talk. It was a joke. Don't you get the joke? It's funny, Stanley. A talking bucket. That is pretty funny. Uh, can't you That's see? That's the kind of humor oh, you'd get goodness. from, like, I must have really bungled up the delivery if you actually took me seriously. Where did I mess up the joke? Should I have paused for longer or spoken quicker? It's the British accent. Comedic timing is so difficult. I wish I were better at it, but there isn't exactly an instructional video on comedy that one can watch to fully... Oh, wait, yes, there is. Ooh. Um, it's sitting right here. Let's take a look. I can finally learn how to be funny? After 12 years? What is comedic timing? What is comedic timing? Oh. How does it work? How long should it last? Oh. How can it be used to effectively silence your political enemies? And more oh. importantly, can it be taught in its entirety within 90 seconds? Yeah. Thankfully, the answer to all of these questions is yes. Oh. Let's dive deeper. Okay. If you've I ever listen. told a joke or made someone laugh, in all likelihood, you did it while standing 50 to 80 centimeters from them in a room of no more than 76 degrees Fahrenheit oh, with one of your arms raised monitor. straight upward at a 15 degree angle from your body. These are the optimal conditions for good comedic timing. Okay. To begin the joke, start by stating and spelling your name. Next, provide a brief synopsis of the joke, including the specific times at which the recipient of the joke will laugh, and then spell out your name a second time. Okay. With these steps complete, it's time to begin the humor. Speak the entire joke in no more than 18 seconds and no less than 13 and a half. Pausing only for, for bathroom breaks lunch. when necessary. When the joke has concluded, it is customary to inform your listener that the joke is over by declaring in your loudest possible voice, I'm Dunny with the funny. Let's practice screaming, I'm Dunny with the funny now. I'm Dunny with the funny? I am Dunny with the funny. Good. This saying is a perfect example of expectations management, which is the cornerstone of good comedy. Oh. Finally, it's time to hand out surveys. Collecting hard data from your audience on data? how wrapped they were throughout the joke is the only way to grow or learn as a comedian. Oh, I'm going to have to give you guys a survey survey should later. be no less than 10 pages long and should include the same question reprinted several times. Just to ensure the survey taker is actually paying attention and not simply filling in answers at random. Makes sense. And that's all there is. With these strategies at your disposal, you'll have audiences doubled over in laughter and even tripled over in laughter in no time at all. Just remember to let them stop laughing at some point, you gut-busting little scamp. After all, no promises. with each of us needed on the front lines of the war to fight the 12-legged invader who threaten our very existence. Starship and troopers? who very luckily die in a hailstorm of bullets and mandibles. All of us must be prepared to give our lives to this noble cause, just as our children must do after us, and their children after them. Godspeed, and may Earth reign supreme. Oh. I've learned hey, so much. Goodness, this video is a little outdated, isn't it? A well, little? no matter. I think the fundamentals of proper comedic timing are still as relevant today as they were back then. I so see. with that in mind, I believe the only way forward is for us to return to the two doors and walk through all of this again so I can try telling my story with more appropriate comedic delivery. 
Come along, let's head back. Oh, yeah. Good lord, what is happening in there? You know, I would almost wouldn't put it past the Stanley parable to, uh... <laughs> you just walk through a door, and then boom, you're just straight up in steamed hams. That would be... surreal. I can feel it. This time, I'm really going to nail the delivery. You'll be in stitches. A talking bucket, you'll say? How ridiculous. Will it be as funny as me accidentally thinking that my audience concept. wants me to the jump off a platform the king of comedy. My death? That's what you'll call me. Thank goodness we had the instructional video. Otherwise, who knows where we'd be right now. Well, I wouldn't be the king of comedy, that's for sure. Mm. The bucket spoke to Stanley. Hmm. The bucket spoke. The bucket spoke. Spoke. Oh, I'll figure it out on the fly. No need to overthink things. Word, word, word. Yeah, where's that video? Steamed hams, but the Stanley Parable narrator just gets all up in that mess. How about that one, huh? I'm down for it. Take me down. Just steam ham town. Bring me down. Funk it down. Here we go. You ready? <coughs> When Stanley and the Bucket came to a set of two open doors, they entered the door on the left. We're back at the phone already. No, 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 what's going on? There were supposed to be several rooms leading up to this. There was supposed to be a build-up to this point. A dramatic display of remarkable comedic wit which culminates in this scene with the phone. But now the timing's completely off. The joke will never land. Well, not the way it was meant to. And it's all my fault. It's not I must my have fault you guys don't know the dog room and wisdom video. That's, that's on you. The two doors room. What an egregious mistake. I've made a fool of myself. I don't deserve the title of King of Comedy. I'm nothing. It's true. I'm not even the lowliest joke-telling whelp. I think... I think I need to go back and rewatch that instructional video again. Probably for the best. Yes, surely. That will help me improve my... Here we go. You ready? <clears throat> yeah, I'm When good. Stanley and the Bucket came to a set of two open doors, they entered the door on the left. Huh, you do buy? I do not know of the wisest dog. Don't worry, Maya. I never thought that you didn't know. Huh. Huh. Let's see. Do I throw the narrator a bone? Mm -hmm. No, 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 no. You were supposed to go through the door on the right, leading back to the phone. Did oh. you not even look at the instructional video? I might I think not have been paying attention to what you said. this covered very clearly. There's no way I can make the comedic timing work now. It's done. The joke is completely down and over. It's all your fault, Stanley. I'm going to be ridiculed in the community of other joke writers. I'm going to be shamed at every one of our meetings from now on. Yeah. All because you couldn't watch a simple video and take a hint. Are you proud of yourself for bringing me down, Stanley? Are you proud? I mean, a little. Oh, God, what's happening? Stanley, you love the bucket so much, it's like you, um, it's as though all of your other most prized possessions pale in comparison. Yes. Well, let me try that again, Stanley. And it's trying out his stand-up comedy I routine to him down there. I pale with shame over how unabashedly in love with a bucket you are. Stanley isn't even holding Stanley, a bucket. Do not, it, is it the delivery? Pale with shame. Pale with shame. Pale... What's another word to describe a bucket? Stanley, this bucket is so metal, I think I saw it playing guitar. No, 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 no. We're getting away from making fun of Stanley's obsession with the bucket, which was the whole point of this. I'm just, I'm no good at these jokes. You're really not. I need more instructional videos. That's exactly what it is. Yeah. That's what will make me the king of 
comedy again. More instructional videos. Sorry, Leroy. <laughs> well, you have yourself a grand old time with that one there, buddy boy. Already this was uncomfortable, and Stan had decided that as soon as he found a new space he felt safe in, that he would never leave it again in his life. Fair, fair, fair. Figure finders committee. Neat, 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 neat. And other such neats. All right, bucket. Stanley picked up the bucket and smiled. He'd never be alone again. Not truly alone. Not with the bucket around. Word. Totally wordily. All right, so now what should I do, I ponder? Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest and entered the door on his left. Ha. Huh. Ha. Huh. The end is never 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 the end. Ha ha. Listen to the bucket. Good idea. I should listen to the bucket. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, but Stanley had felt the bucket calling to him, telling him that the employee lounge was simply the place to be. I don't know. Is the best ending with the bucket the bucket game show? turned out to be correct. Was this no? Never mind. If it was the bucket game show, I did the bucket game show. Stanley took the door on his left to go back to the meeting room. No, said the bucket. Don't go to the meeting room. Go somewhere else. Mm -mm. The cargo lift, yes. Go there. Go to the cargo lift. I shall. I shall, oh mighty buckets. Good, said the bucket. I don't think I can now go back to the room. Now ride the lift all the way to the again. top. I've tried. There's something up there I need you to do. Stanley did not question why or how this bucket was speaking to him. It should have alarmed him, of course, because buckets can't talk. But Stanley chose not to think about this obvious fact. He was firmly convinced that the okay, bucket well, had spoken time. to him, and he unthinkingly did whatever the bucket asked. I'll do what the bucket demands. Do what the bucket demands. In here, said the bucket. Go into this dark room over here. Go on. Stanley once again obeyed blindly. Waka waka doo doo, yeah, let's go! Oh, yeah. God, you never really do get used now to Now pick that. up the f Okay. I picked it up. This is the sad story of a man named Stanley and his bucket. My bucket? Once upon a time, I gave Stanley a bucket because I thought he was lonely and could use a friend. That's fair. And then, very distressingly, he began to believe the bucket could speak to him. Yeah, you know, I was trying to recapture the magic of five. I'm just not feeling it. Hmm. Well, now what the heck is this? The beige pages? Ooh, fancy. Wait, why is my apartment so much fancier now that I have a bucket? Oh, hey, bucket. Hello, Stanley, it's me, your bucket. Press C to take me to work with you. Okay, bucket. The Stanley Parable Reassurance Bucket was merely meant to provide the comforting glow of companionship. It doesn't literally talk and give you orders. Whatever Stanley is hearing the Bucket say to him is just in his head. Oh, there you are, Bucket. Why do you keep trying to run away from me? Press you to take me back home. Oh. Okay. Lately, I've been concerned about him. Wouldn't you be concerned as well? To see him delusional like this, obsessing over an inanimate metal object? I want to say something to him, but I don't know how I can convince him. I don't know if he'll listen to me. Have you tried some jazz music? Back to work we go! Well, I'll try anyway. Stanley! Can you hear me? I never can. Listen chance. to me. It's just a bucket. It can't think. It can't talk. All it will ever truly do for you is effectively transfer a liquid from one location to a different location. I can That's wear it, it as a hat. It doesn't do anything else. Could be a hat. It totally could be a hat. Don't try to act like it couldn't be a hat. Man, this guy is talking out his ass. Don't listen to the loud man. <laughs> Press J to bring us for us to go back home. Very well. I shall ignore this strange British man. <sighs> you see, he's not listening. 
He's still taking orders from the bucket. You know, once upon a time, it was me he took orders from. Me he trusted and listened to. Now that was never all the he case. cares about is his awful bucket. This stupid hunk of metal. You're the one who gave it to me. You're the one who did this. Ignored. Press X to ignore anyone in your life except for me. Uh, I don't feel quite right about that one. There's always going to be somebody above literally anybody else. Especially over you, Bucket. But I got nowhere else to be, so I guess I'll hang with you for the time being. But when the time comes, I know where my allegiances lie. It's sad. I suppose he doesn't need me anymore. Never did, yo. From now on, he's just going to cling to this bucket. This cold, empty bucket. This sort of shiny bucket. Oh. Hmm. Well, I'll give it this. The bucket does have a nice shine to it. Oh, you're starting to understand the bucket. You believe I'm real, don't you, Stanley? Let's go back home. Nightstar, you do not know for a fact that that is what I was implying when I said that. The fact that I was is entirely not the point. Yes, I suppose on closer inspection that it doesn't quite look like your average hardware store bucket. It's just a little more, um, what am I trying to say? Sturdier, more capable of transporting liquid. Like it would be better at moving an amount of water from one room to another. No, nobody draw that. Also, I bet this could hold an entire Maya. Anyway, to relive the same day with me over and over. Hmm, you don't say. Oh that man has God, been in this trolling arc saying? since 2001. Better at carrying water from room to room. It's a bucket. It's literally just a bucket. It's a bucket. Why do I feel some need to point out the ways in which it's so much more than just a regular bucket? You are a small, so you fit in the bucket. All right. Let's see. To go home, to work, to home, to work, to home, to home, to home, to work, to work, to home, to home, to work. I'm, I'm having feelings with the bucket. No, 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 no. What's going on? Why do I want to be with the bucket? Hear what the bucket has to say. Do anything it asks. What's wrong with me? I don't understand. Perhaps, perhaps if I had the bucket, this would be less confusing. Yes, the bucket could tell okay. me what to do in this troublesome situation. You know, I was not expecting a bucket cult ending. That, that's not what I was expecting when I walked down the path that I ultimately walked down. Okay, so maybe not a cult as much as, uh, something I'm even less comfortable with, if I'm being honest with you. I don't know if I'm cool with this. <laughs> I don't. I, you know, I don't know. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't think I, I want that. Um, huh. Alright. Okay, I'm just gonna... Stanley, up. give Holy me the bucket. Give it to me. Give me the bucket, Stanley. I need it. Give it to me now. Give it or I'll... Huh. Go back to work, Stanley. All right, then. Okay. Take the bucket to employee 434's desk. Push until you climb on the chair, the desk, and go out the window. It takes a bit of fiddling. Okie dokie. How wonderful. Stanley was alone. Finally. This is great, he thought to himself. This is what I've wanted all along. I got what I wanted. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. Okay, did he do it without the bucket? No, I have not. Okay, you want me to do it? Uh, so... Let's see. Okay. Uh. Oh. Ah, 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 ah. Ah. Huh. At first, Stanley assumed he'd broken the map until he heard this narration and realized it was part of the game's design all along. Wow. He then praised the game for its insightful and witty commentary into the nature of video game structure and its examination of structural narrative tropes. Neat. So, now that you're here, what do you think? Isn't this a fun and unique place to be? I'm pretty fond Why of it. Why don't we take a minute just to drink it all in? Okay, I'm over it now. What do you think? Are you sick of this gag yet? Not really. Oh, are you sick of this gag? Ah, then in that case, we'll continue. But now, here comes the real question. 
What do you think would have happened if you had told me that you wanted this to stop? Uh. Do you think it would have been particularly different? Knowing you, would probably not. Would I have not. taken the same idea, but rephrased it superficially to fit that answer? Perhaps you never would even have thought of it if I hadn't brought up the issue in the first place. Man, I don't oh. know. Now, think about it. Would it be worth it for you to restart and then come back here just to do the other option? Kind of. Clearly, this whole gag takes some time. What if the other option is even longer? How long will you spend in total just to have heard all the narration? Until oh, they chat and get rich, tired of the game. Perhaps you just played the other option, and now you've come to see what happens in this one. So, what do you think? Which choice was the better one? Imagine if you had selected continue on your first playthrough, how tantalizing it would be not knowing what happens when you pick the other option. Indeed, you are one of the lucky ones. Mm -hmm. Though if the other option is really miserable to listen to, then perhaps you're not. In fact, I'm just going to say that no one who's listening to this is lucky. Well now, I've built up the other option so much that I'm going to stop talking and leave you to your decision whether to come back here, continue with the game, or just sit in this spot forever and ever. Cheers. Wait, you want me to restart the game? That's highly unorthodox. Is that actually what I need to do? Huh. I guess I do. Yeah, I'm straight up stuck in here. Dang, that's a new one. I've never had to be the arbiter of my own resettingness. That's just fascinating. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Hello. At first, Stanley assumed he'd broken the map. As until I do. he heard this narration and realized it was part of the game's design all along. That's how he I then roll. Plays the game for its insightful and witty commentary into the nature of video game structure and its examination of structural narrative tropes. So, Brother. now that you're here, what do you think? Have Isn't you this a fun and unique place to be? I do Why like this place a lot. Why don't we take a minute just to drink it's it all in? Ethereal and Okay, what have you. I'm over it now. What do you think? Are you sick of this gag yet? Literally never. Well, I don't know how to say this politely, but you could literally just hit escape and restart the game any old time you want. So like you say. Right so you say. Now. You could have done it just then. I could have, but I now didn't. Now would also be an appropriate time to quit. Perhaps. Any of these points and so many, many more, all of them are appropriate. Each one more appropriate than the last. what seems to be an internal conflict going on where you are literally unable to act on your own desires to restart the game. Fascinating. So, just to push the envelope, I'm going to try and make this as miserable as possible and see how long you can maintain. My guy, I went through the public schooling system. You're gonna have to try pretty there hard to bother me. There was a man named Stanley, who people considered so manly. But the truth must be told, he was not very old and was quite particularly gangly. What mm -hmm. Stanley liked mm -hmm. most was buttons. He pushed them like some kind of glutton. He did it all day in a meaningful way. But his brain had long ceased to function. Which is why he is in this parable. And lives an existence quite terrible. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And if you are not strong and keep playing along, you too will become quite unbearable. Yeah. Makes sense, makes sense. You too will become quite unbearable. Guitar!
feel pretty good about the choices I've made today. I'm gonna be honest with you. Oh. Oh, the guitar broke. Bummer. Huh. Well. Unfortunate. Eh, hi, ball. Eh. Eh, there we are. Okay. Well. That was fun. <laughs> ah, all right, let's see. I need that to be over her again, though. There we are. Okay. Ah, oh, 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 God. Oh, God. I've accidentally grabbed the whole ass game. Oopsie doodles. Oopsie doodles. Hang on. Hang on. Gotta fix it. Oh, boy. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed whatever the hell that was about. Once again, I am stuck. All right. There we go. Now, let's begin again. How wonderful. Stanley was alone. Finally. I'm never this alone. Not with the voices in my head. Good old bucket. Just Stanley in the bucket. Off on another thrilling adventure. Stanley clung the bucket to his cheek. I did. Could his co-workers really all be gone? Yes. They're disturbed by my bucket fascination. Anywho. Tally ho! Now yes. I'm here. Whispered the bucket into Stanley's ear. We've done it. We've escaped from that dull office and that pesky narrator. Huzzah! Last, out here in the white void, we are alone now. And for the first time, I can reveal to you my true self. Oh, dang. The bucket began to tell Stanley of its life and its history. Wow. Of the countless wars it witnessed. Oh, dang. Desecrating the land and lives of untold numbers of innocent humans. Well, that's not And the good. bucket's own complicity therein. Oh, dear. Of sadness and regret. Well, and the many years bad. it spent dwelling on the actions it might have taken to curb the madness and the decay. Fair if enough. only it had been stronger. Of hope and redemption, and its oh. crusade to uplift the stock of life for the common man, to manifest justice where none existed, and the bittersweet reality of time, to see one's dreams and wishes met halfway, oh. meted out in parcels like charity, and abandoned as soon as the warm glow of inspiration begins to dim. Oh. The opportunities to do so much more there was so much it could have done, perhaps, the bucket wondered to itself. Perhaps. Perhaps, if it had seen its own darkness with a clearer perception. I'm not sure if this you should dwell upon such things, though. This What are you talking about? He screamed. You're a bucket! To this, the bucket furrowed its brow. It has one? No, said the bucket. Not since the evil wizard Gambhorata first enslaved oh. me in his machinations as payback for the sacred you guys are right, it's all connected. his treasured vaults. I was young back then and could not conceive the ramifications of... No! Stanley screamed even louder this time. This is stupid! You are a bucket! This is so stupid! Why are we even doing this? As Stanley screamed and screamed and screamed, the bucket revealed its true form, transforming into a mighty beast of untold power, oh its my. fangs glistening like... Oh, dang! My God! Oh, God! Stanley, you did it! You saved us from the bucket! I did Thank it! Thank God you already had all 12 emblems of sages and knew the incantations to summon their true power. I am Otherwise, pretty great. we would have easily been overwhelmed by the bucket's power. I'm speechless. You've demonstrated such bravery here today. My Come, goodness! let's restart the game, and we'll agree to never again go trifling with this bucket, nor the dark magic cast away inside of it. Why the bucket got so much blood in it, though? Uh-oh. The room's all wiggity-wiggity-wonk again. I'm starting to think this game might be silly. Perhaps. 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 Where are we going today, the bucket asked. Stanley just smiled. Anywhere they went to get... Stanley clutched the bucket tightly true, true. to his Too chest. True. And entered the door on his left. The door on the left has the broom closet. Yeah, I believe it does. And I could just walk past it, but I have chosen not to do so. What do you mean catwalk time? I did that already. I'm not doing it again. Yeah, okay. To the broom closet! Could have sworn I remembered trying to get into the broom closet and it didn't work. But okie dokie. Here we go. Come on, bucket. 
yes, I'd gone through the catwalk with the bucket, and then I had the game show, Is It a Bucket? And then I made fun of the narrator, and it was a grand old time. Watch the previous stream. Ah! The broom closet ending is my favorite, too. Can you feel it? The broom closet. It wants the bucket. Heck yeah. You can feel that, can't you? The aura of jealousy. It's as clear as day. This broom closet believes it deserves the bucket. I can really feel it now. It's a bucket. It belongs in a broom closet. That's what the broom closet is trying to say here. It's That's science. It's a with the other cleaning supplies. Good for you, Stanley. Don't give in. Don't hand over the bucket. I won't. I know how hard it must be. It's my bucket. The pressure that the it's broom full of blood for some reason, on your but it's my bucket. Right now, but you have to be strong. This is your bucket. This is your companion and lifelong friend. You can't hand it over. Oh, no. We're getting into name calling now, it seems. Is this how low the broom closet has sunk that it has to resort to this stream of petty insults simply in order to get you to hand over the bucket? And duct tape? Stanley, I never liked this broom closet for a variety of reasons. But even this is worse than I had imagined. And wait. Now the broom closet has the gall to imply that you and the bucket are not truly deep and lasting friends? Mamma mia! That your relationship is purely superficial and convenient? That your life is so banal and meaningless that you'd feel the same sort of kinship towards any inanimate object which happened to lay in your path in an even partially enticing manner? Well, I never... <laughs> Go on, Stanley. Most Stay unorthodox! Really tell the broom closet off for its demeaning comments. Expand on the wide variety of experiences you and the bucket have shared together. I did Go stab at that one time. Point by point. Also, there was Share that weird your journal cult moment. entries detailing the rich emotional landscape of your feelings for the bucket as they have changed and evolved over the years. That's not even getting into Let that neat game it. show. You know, you're making some silly, silly jokes, Mr. Narrator Man, but at the same time, it's undeniable. Okay, I've got you something which I some think good will help settle this, this debate once and for all. Here we go. Ah. There. Now it's settled. No more debate, no more discussion. Take a hike, broom closet. Yeah. With all your meandering philosophical diatribes about the nature of cleaning supplies and their relationship to broom closets in the natural order of things. Yeah, take that rubber hose thing on the floor, whatever the hell that is. Neat. All right, I've got a second sticker back here, and I'm going to slap it on as well because I think it's appropriate. Okay. Oh, you see? I feel that it works because the sticker is also a bucket. That makes sense. That way, if you're ever unsure whether the thing you're holding is a bucket or not, you can look down at this sticker and say to yourself, Oh, it's a bucket. That makes sense. There really is a wide variety of applications for this sticker. I understand. This is this is this is, this is a good time. I'm getting it. It's all this is all really starting to come together. You I know feel. what? I could take the name calling and the dismissal of your kinship with the bucket, but now the broom closet is just giving us a silent treatment. And Rude. to be honest, I'm sick of the pettiness on display. You can stay here all you like, but I've had it with this impetulant room of cleaning supplies. Easily the most childish such room I've ever been in. I'll see you outside, and we can get on with the story about you and your bucket. You know, this really reminds me of my days when I was much younger at my father's print shop. None of the uh, after-school programs would accept me, so I just kind of went there after school and during the summers, and I was just inside the print shop. And they had this really old CRT telev television, and my dad was cool, and he's like, "Ah, oh, you know, you know, go ahead and bring your, and you can go and bring your, your, your PlayStation or your, your, your Nintendo 64, and we can hook it up to that." And I, and I was like, "Whoa, that's so cool!" And then I did, and man, I don't know, something about just the ambience of this room fills me with the nostalgia of those days, and I don't know, just the, the smell of the ink and the whirr of the fluorescent lightings, and I don't know, it's all just coming back to me, and it's really neat. And I wasn't always just playing video games on the old TV. Oh, no, no, no. Other times, I just kind of walked around. I was really little, so the place was gigantic. And I was like, I don't know. I, I, I like to wander around and make, like, you know, silly adventures and stuff. And it was fun. It was a nice place. Ni those were nice times. I liked them. So, you know, honestly, I, I kind of dig this broom closet for reminding me. <sighs> it was good times. Nothing else? Okie dokie. Okie dokie.
Okie dokie, Smokey. Coming to a staircase, Stanley and the Bucket walked upstairs to the boss's office. Go up to the boss's room, but don't go in? Sure, no problem. I have not gone downstairs with the Bucket yet, no. Okay. So, like that? Or, like, something else? I remember being brought to my own PC when I was a kid, and I had a lot of fun with just the whiteboard. Heck yeah. Okay. Bait the door. The, the other door? What do you mean, the other door? The big door? Oh, the big door. I see. Okay. Go in, but back out of the office before it closes. Stepping in. Get nade aid. I did it. I, I did it. Why did I do that? Okay, now go back. Okay, sure. Oh, all the way to the office. Okie dokie. No problemo. I'm trying to close these doors. I'm not raised in a barn. Huh. I think the narrator is so utterly gobsmacked by the things that I've done. I don't got anything to say. That's just peculiar. Hey, it's been a long time since I've seen that. I left him? I let. Oh! Oh, he's stuck in the boss's room! Oh, dang! Oh, dang! I've had it up to here with the narrator's nonsense. I ain't even contributed. Ooh. That's new. Huh. I don't think I've ever seen that door be opened before. Hello. Oh. You are now leaving. Escape pod bay, floor 760. Huh. But since I have the bucket, you may get a different ending. Uh-oh. I may have made an oopsie poopsie by having this here bucato. I did not mean to make a mistake. Oh well, let's get to the escape pod. That is one seriously red-ass door, man. All right, well, can't use an elevator. Just keep on using them stairs. No, no mistake. Oh, okie dokie, if you're sure. Huh. You know, this is stupid, but when has that ever stopped me from doing anything? Am I right? Hang on a second. Alrighty. There we go. That'll do. That'll do. I mean, as long as I'm climbing, this is the official climbing stairs song, man. I mean, as long as I'm going up a bunch of flights of stairs, I may as well have the proper ambience. Come on, now. You guys know me better than this. Oh, escape pod launch pad. Just keep walking. I guess. It's very hard to tell. Oh. I have arms? <laughs> Are you kidding me with this? 
This is just weird. I'm freeing the bucket. I can't escape, but the bucket can. Godspeed, bucket. Godspeed. Yep. 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 All right. So I only have, I just have one single question for you guys. All right. Okay. Is there still more to do? Uh, like, is this, do you think this game has enough in it for at least one more stream or are we done now? Like, what, what, what's your guys' call? Oh yes, there is more. Oh, well then ding dang gosh darn. Yes, quite. Okay, dang. Well, if you guys think there's enough for another stream, then we'll absolutely, absolutely come on back over here next week. No problem. It'll be fun. Man, I'm getting so much more out of this game than I ever thought I would. This is awesome. Exactly. And for one more? Cool. Cool. Well, all right then. And that's exactly what we'll do. All righty then. If that's the case, there's only one thing left to do, I'm afraid. I'm Dunny with the bunny. <laughs>